for uh, the invitation. It's uh, always great to be here uh, uh, together with the nice people and uh, nice weather is always amazing to be here. Thank you very much uh, and thanks for the short introduction too. Uh, I'll try to uh, I'll try to uh, present. Uh, since this is the career week, I've been told this is uh, about a motivational week. So I'll try to uh, phrase how uh, fun to work and how uh, how nice to be an architect. Uh, so uh, I, I, I I try to organize uh, my, my presentation around it. Hope it's gonna be uh, inspiration for you for all of you. Uh, so I started with uh, uh, with the understanding of the design. Uh, I, as a, as a young designer, uh, had a, in the beginning uh, maybe also little misunderstanding of the design, especially be before I studied architecture. And more and more I discovered uh, creation is uh, not exactly about creation, it's, uh, it's a lot of creating, uh, but it is a lot more uh, about uh, research too. So it's about finding, uh, discovery, uh, looking for certain things and uh, looking for the uh, certain <coughs> specific unique moments, uh, unique uh, situations, uh, you know, things that people doesn't see and this kind of stuff. So I'm more and more, uh, by the time that's, uh, that we spend more time in, in architecture, we, we, we uh, kind of started to understand it's more about finding. And then if you find the interesting moments, then you can really create interesting things. So, I'll try to compose uh, my, my presentation around it. Uh, this is about, talking about finding, finding things. I, I prepared a short bulmaja. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know how, how to say it in Turkish. Uh, yeah, like a puzzle uh, for you. So, these are the numbers about uh, our firm. Uh, we started in 2010. Uh, we did 16 uh, exhibitions, uh, we are working with 14 people uh, and we, we received 36 awards uh, and many more. Uh, so, when you look at it, it, it looks very nice. Uh, when you look at the summary, it looks very nice and uh, very tempting and uh, maybe a little easy, easier than, uh, easier than I, I would expect. Uh, but when you are inside, uh, inside the work, inside the office, and uh, you start producing stuff, you understand it's, uh, it's uh, a lot of research and a lot of uh, development, a lot of uh, energy needs to be involved in it. Uh, I'm not showing this uh, to, be, to, to say that architecture is difficult, you have to work too much and stuff, but I'm trying to, uh, I'll try to, uh, uh, to, to phrase that this uh, as a fun thing to do. Actually, uh, we, uh, we did a lot of projects. I'll show you a couple of five or six projects, but uh, we have done, uh, to get those buildings and to get those uh, projects, we have done 120. This is just a print screen I took before leaving for the, for the plane uh, from my server. So this is our office server, so there are 120 projects, more than 120 projects, and uh, Maybe 10% of them are uh, became uh, real projects, real possibilities, and maybe again 10% of them are, are realized. So it's a lot of work. It shouldn't be a surprise, but uh, but we are having a good time doing this kind of stuff, and uh, I'll try to share some of these with you. Uh, and uh, to 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 start with, I will. Uh, try to tackle with the, today's problems and today understand, today's understanding of the world. We are, uh, I'm coming from Istanbul, I've been traveling uh, to different places and, and all that, but in the same time we are almost like in the same place. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I have friend, friends from here, uh, we, we follow each other, I know what they are, I have an idea what they are doing about and all that. Uh, but is that really communication? There's a question mark. I'm not making any uh, any statements. But uh, the origin of uh, internet uh, brought a lot of uh, possibilities and uh, a lot of uh, 
potentials for us, and these are nice things, and this is what uh, William Mitchell was writing about in City of Peace. So it, it is a uh, it's a very nice book uh, from uh, the 90s, uh, where the internet was just merging, and like it was proposing how it, it would be amazing that everybody has the same knowledge, uh, it's, a, it's a democratized uh, way of learning things, so we can learn, uh, people uh, would uh, learn anything they want to know, and people would connect with anybody they, they would like to connect. Uh, things didn't really go that, that positive, uh, but uh, really I still believe there uh, the, is a, is a great opportunity wherever you are, wherever uh, in the world. Uh, it is still amazing to be able to be connected to internet and like all the information and stuff. It brings a lot of democratization and uh, self-education is becoming uh, more and more important in, in our world. So, I think you should be, uh, for the, especially for the new generation, it should be more and more inspiring. And you, you will, I'm sure we are trying uh, to make it work, internet, uh, but it still doesn't really work like it could. So I'm, I'm hoping the new generation is gonna, uh, gonna bring the different possibilities and different uh, scenarios. So that's one thing I, I would like to talk about. And uh, how is that connected to architecture? Uh, I think more and more uh, time is spent on online and uh, isolated spaces of our screens. Uh, the cities are becoming more and more important because these are the only places that we come together and the architecture is a big part of it. So this, is, uh, this auditorium brings us together really and like, uh, it, is, it, is nothing as, uh, it is nothing like uh, Skype or I don't know, the, uh, the Instagram, the Facebook or something like that. It is a real human interaction and it is amazing because uh, it brings a lot of different feelings that you wouldn't be able to create in, uh, in a home 19. So I think uh, architects are becoming more and more responsible for our, uh, our society, being a society, being, uh, being communities, being people together and like understanding each other, liking each other and creating some empathy so we don't create this kind of uh, divisions that we are experiencing today very hardly in the in the uh, in the in, in Turkey or in the international uh, scene in US uh, like the Trump and uh, all this kind of situation. So I think there's a lot of responsibility and there's a lot of things that architects can still do. Uh, yet we, we we don't really uh, we still have uh, problems to do it in this uh, big scale. So in the in the city scale. So uh, I'm uh, this is. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is a screenshot from uh, London sky, uh, skyline. Uh, for some resolution, for some reason, resolution is bad. But uh, the idea is uh, uh, this is London, one of the you know nicest cities uh, in the world, and we all admire it. But even that doesn't really uh, uh, have the ability to combine good architecture with good space. So I think it's kind of hard and. I, I would assure you that uh, the great architects doesn't really, maybe they, they also don't know about it. So this, uh, this skyline is, uh, these are one of the worst buildings, a couple of the worst buildings that you can see in, in London. And uh, people hate them. So every year they have the yearly competition of uh, the most hated buildings in the, in the city. And these are top three uh, buildings in the, in the city. And these are not bad architects, these are the amazing architects that we follow in school. So, uh, so Walkie Talkie, they call, is done, done by Rafael Binoli, one of the you know, legends uh, of the time. Uh, Richard, Richard Rogers, I mean, you know, they, they call this building a cheese grater and people hate it. And Norman Foster, I don't even need to talk about the Lord. So, so I think there's still a lot of, uh, we still need to develop a lot of empathy as architects uh, to, to integrate into space. I'm not, I'm not saying I know how to do it, but this is uh, one interesting thing to, to, uh, to tackle in your uh, projects, in your designs and stuff. So, so we try to, as in, in our case, uh, as, the, uh, as the salon, of, uh, as, as my office, we try to focus on uh, the current city, current understanding of the city. So, uh, talking about Istanbul, uh, we sometimes uh, go abroad, go London, uh, I don't know, Berlin, and different cities, uh, talk about our architecture, and it always starts with Istanbul. So, 
because we are coming from Istanbul, the questions about it, and like my, my colleagues, we are sometimes together with the colleagues and stuff, and I've seen like a lot of discussions start uh, from uh, the conception of underdeveloped city, but I don't see Istanbul as an underdeveloped city. So it's in the broader sense, all the all the cities uh, have problems and uh, you know their own dynamics and stuff. So uh, if you zoom out a little bit, uh, you will see a lot of similarities uh, together with Tokyo or Los Angeles or these kind of cities. These are the cities I have been and I lived there for a certain time and. Uh, they are all amazing cities, and they are all have huge problems that you hate it. So I think the city means that uh, the bad and uh, the good comes together. So uh, maybe we wanna, you know, instead of hating it, we wanna, as architects, as professionals, we wanna understand it a little, a little more closely. So this is what uh, what we try to do in the 14th uh, Biennale of uh, Architecture in, in, in Venice. So uh, we took different captions from different parts of the city. Uh, this is the, the, the right one on the uh, screen is uh, Levant uh, in Istanbul, one of the strongest, uh, most fastest developing city, uh, developing, developing part of the city. And the left side, uh, you can see it's kind of similar, but its worth is not nearly as, uh, as half of it. But it is developing and you are experiencing the same thing. So, uh, we looked at the topography, uh, we looked at the uh, ownership, uh, we looked at the different kind of uh, things that you don't see maybe in the first look and then we, we, we start seeing similarities and how cities uh, change. And through that we developed a lot of uh, models uh, and maps that you can really experience in one in one to one scale. So this is, uh, this is a caption from that. And I think its experience is becoming more and more important. So instead of doing maps, uh, classical maps that uh, that tries to communicate our idea, we decided making one-to-one uh, -one scale models. I mean, these are like three three by three meter uh, models, uh, physically fabricated. Uh, it was super hard to go through the customs and stuff, but we finally did it, and they, they were hanged there. So uh, this became uh, not a uh, not, not a rational or uh, kind of boring definition of our research, but it became a kind of uh, kind of expression of what we have been looking at. So it talks about uh, the left one talks about the ownership, the borders, how it is shaping the city. Uh, the the one in the middle uh, talks about how uh, topography is affecting uh, our cities and how we uh, poorly use it, and uh, we started doing some future iterations of this idea, so it became uh, both an experience and, and a research. Uh, so this is uh, one uh, most questioned uh, project, starting with Istanbul. Uh, I had video in the desktop, so... Uh, so starting with that, we, uh, we do a lot of exhibitions uh, we do a lot of, uh, we also do museums, uh, we have done museums, uh, we, we did a lot of research about uh, Istanbul, uh, obviously starting with the Venice Biennale and other, other studios, and uh, uh, the public thought it would be us to nice, it would be nice us to, to, to design a museum about, uh, about Istanbul, so we were invited to, uh, to for, for this uh, Competition and closed invites competition by uh, the, by the municipality of Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality, and uh, we we brought up uh, uh, we, we brought up a concept uh, through that. I'll just leave you for a second with the video and go into details later. There's some music, but.
Can we be voice video? <laughs> so, uh, so uh, this uh, th this was the overall uh, uh, concept of the of the project. Now it's changed a lot, but it's pretty much in the same same direction. So, uh, uh, to to talk about little uh, important things about the museum, it is uh, located in the outer skirt of uh, Istanbul land walls. Uh, which is the uh, which is the which is pretty much the ending of the old historical center. So uh, uh, so when project project first came in, so you can see it, uh, here, it is more in the side of newly uh, developed area. So when the project first came in, we thought this is uh, this is not the best location to have a museum because we usually have the museums in the city center, uh, in the uh, in the Bosphorus in. Uh, in Taksim, in uh, Karaköy, and this kind of uh, central spaces, which this was a little off uh, of our usual uh, center definition. But we thought it is uh, more and more look at, looking at it, we, we thought it's really important for, uh, for the Istanbul people because this is the museum for the many, it's not for the uh, museum for a uh, couple of important characters of, of Istanbul, uh, the emperors, the uh, the leaders and this kind of stuff is, is about people and it's about the society and it, uh, we are hoping it to be more democrat, uh, democratic space of learning things, uh, coming together and uh, engaging with culture. So we decided this is actually a good thing because uh, you will see uh, when you look at the Istanbul population, you will see the bigger uh, population is living out of these uh, grey zones and uh, living on uh, at, the, at the periphery of, of Istanbul, which uh, kind of moved the center, but there's no cultural infrastructure. So we thought it is maybe a very good thing to, to develop, start uh, kind of cultural institutions here. So uh, we lo looked at it uh, with these eyes, and then uh, we, we started seeing a lot of correlations. So this is, uh, this is kind of one of the study models we, we in, the, in the very beginning of the project. Uh, the, you will see there's, uh, there are two axes really shaping the building and one of them is uh, connecting to uh, the, the, the subway station, the tram, uh, tram connection, the metrobus, uh, all type of uh, circulation is going through this, uh, this kind of uh, bridge uh, here on the other side of the, uh, on, on the, other side of the, uh, the, the site and it is kind of connected to the city. So if, if you are making a museum for the people of Istanbul, then people should be able to reach it easily. So uh, this is how we kind of shape the main thing. And then, uh, and then there's another very important thing in the site. This is the uh, Istanbul land walls. It's one of the oldest remaining structures in, in Istanbul and it uh, dramatically shaped the, uh, the evolution of the city. And uh, more about uh, you, you can talk about Istanbul as much as you want, but you wouldn't be able to uh, describe it so nicely if you don't uh, engage with the, with the land walls. So uh, we made a connection to, the, uh, to this, uh, these walls uh, together with the design. And this kind of different uh, directions and connections shape the overall form of the city. Uh, and the fragmented uh, box, it was uh, it's a hundred meter of facade but divided into 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 different uh, zones and when it is divided it became uh, more and more like a, a labyrinth so you can uh, you can develop a long story inside it to, to communicate with people to, to exhibit inside and it ends with a uh, with a hopefully nice uh, nice courtyard so this is really people come together and share things and uh, become uh, become a unique public space. So you see the history of Istanbul, you see uh, how it, is, it has been changed and at the end you really have a place that you can engage with the people of Istanbul which is really making the city. And uh, you can see this is a huge elevated uh, form. Uh, all the exhibition, all the museum thing is actually going, inside, going on inside this, uh, this uh, amorphous box. box. And underneath it, there's all the public spaces, the restaurants, the children's atelier, the cafes, and uh, and workshops, and 
uh, library and this kind of uh, public spaces. And it's quite complex in, uh, in geometry, but everything is kind of working together. Uh, also together with the structure, so you cannot isolate architecture. I think this is the nice thing about it, you cannot isolate the architecture uh, just about function. It, it also needs to work with structure, it needs to work with the society, it, it should uh, combine a lot, of, uh, a lot of things, so that's what we try to do. And the, becoming close to the walls, we develop different. Uh, so we thought, I mean, walls are actually important, were very important for uh, architects by the time, which we uh, standardize at the moment, and we just repeat certain certain schemes. And we decided maybe we we come up with different uh, tessellations, different uh, divisions of the facade. So uh, we, I don't know, we tried maybe uh, 20, 60, 20, 30. Uh, different uh, schemes for the facade and we came to a point where uh, it works with the form, it is, uh, it is functional and it is also saving a lot of material. So uh, these are the, these are the uh, unique pieces, the layering, this is the entrance and it is under construction now, uh, about in total is uh, 40,000 square meter. Uh, we are still on the steel work, but this is a current picture from the from the side. Uh, but hopefully, uh, it's gonna go on. Uh, another another project about Istanbul. Uh, students like it very much, so I, I always keep it in my in my presentation. One of the early early works we have done. Uh, people uh, invited me. I think have seen it a couple of times, but uh, this. Uh, obviously in question, so we are happy to show it. And uh, this is uh, the Yapukrat Culture Center uh, in Istanbul. Maybe you have seen it in, in uh, you, you have seen new situation if you have been to Istanbul, or I'm sure you see you seen it in newspaper some somewhere. So it's renovated. And this was the last exhibition. They they closed the building, and they invited us to come up with a facade uh, that engages Yapu created together with uh, Istiklal Street again because by the time it was uh, it was built uh, and it was working uh, Yapu Kredi Culture Center was really energizing the city and it was uh, it was really affecting the environment uh, the cultural environment of it and by the time it became uh, somehow less and less part of the part of the city so we decided okay making an exhibition Inside, we decided we make the uh, we make the statement in the facade. You have the one of the nicest facade. It's uh, it's uh, very nice to engage with the, with the community. So uh, we come up with this uh, with this idea uh, that we don't create uh, we don't we don't use the existing space, but we create a space inside the uh, uh, inside the surface. So. We started with a surface, but it became uh, more of a multi-dimensional space. And I think it's, it's very much reflecting the, the times that we are living, because every time everything is becoming uh, tiny, smaller, more flexible, and uh, we, we, we use uh, information everywhere, and it is kind of integrated in, in anything. So uh, we, we, we wanted to test if it is going to be able to integrate with the information in a different level. So, we did a lot of fabrication drawings uh, uh, and uh, we, we uh, used a lot of digital fabrication techniques which makes the uh, fabrication completely fit together with the, uh, with the digital animation playing on top of it. And this is, uh, this is a collage of the drawing and the picture, the photo from the actual site. And we have another video. So it kind of became uh, uh, architecture. Architecture became kind of a performance in our thinking conception of the project. So these are from the construction phase.
we used a lightweight structure and to make it lightweight we combined uh, wood and plywood let's say and uh, stick together so together uh, in, within two layers it, it kind of creates a lot of uh, retention and structure So I mean, there's a lot of uh, a lot of the animation uh, fabricated on site, so it is interactive, and we also planned uh, some part of it as a as a dynamic installation, as a uh, fixed uh, story. So. So this was a recording from the night of the performance. And I think uh, it, it was a very interesting experiment for the time uh, to, to develop multi-dimensional architecture. So architecture is not, uh, not only on, about surfaces or physical construction, but it can relate to the digital, uh, digital world, which you can take the digital as part of uh, part of physical materials, and uh, we also do a lot of uh, mixed-use projects. Uh, this is you have seen if you have seen Istanbul. This is uh, one of the current states of Istanbul. Maybe it's even more fragmented, but uh, this red side is where we are locating locating our our project. Uh, which we call Shishli Central, and it is uh, it is on the opposite side of Zorlu Center, uh, which has been criticized recently a lot uh, because of it is uh, uh, it is mass. I mean, it is volume, obviously, and also it's becoming uh, more and more internal thing, so it doesn't it, it sucks up the city around it. So we said, I mean, being located in this this space and seeing all these buildings that's fragmenting and dividing up the city, can we develop a concept that actually improves the city, improves the surrounding rather than, uh, rather than captivating it and uh, closing, closing inside. So, uh, this is the concept we came, uh, we came up with. It, it is uh, connected to surrounding city together with the axis that you can, you can see. So, we use the Instead of making a courtyard setup, we decided uh, positioning the buildings in the middle, uh, middle of the space. So it is it is high density. Uh, the buildings are very close to each other, but it has the feeling of the uh, maybe Manhattan. So it's it's not necessarily a bad thing that we condense the space in certain thing, and and then we can leave a lot of open space. So surrounding is uh, different gardens you usually tend to make a garden for yourself. So we decided making something opposite. So we make gardens for other people's uh, buildings and uh, we kind of create different uh, local plazas for, for, uh, for the surrounding. And this is uh, from the subway uh, exit. We always think it's important to connect to the public transport somehow. So in the street scale, it is very connected to uh, it, it is very connected to existing scale uh, street. But in the in the in the larger scale, it is also connected to the green spaces and plazas surrounding it. So uh, people can use it together. 
and we overlaid a lot of uh, different uh, concepts the hotel, uh, the culture center, the uh, offices, the housing together so everything is kind of happy to be together rather than you know dividing things and putting separating things which we usually see in the recent uh, urban development I had a video, I don't have it uh, in the USB so I can show it but it's all, everything is online so you can look it up uh, this is one project that we enjoyed doing very much. Uh, this was an open competition uh, in, in Kaunas, in Lithuania, uh, one of the fastest developing cities of Lithuania, and they are uh, immersely focused on science and uh, development. So, uh, the science is really a central thing in the city, and they opened an international uh, competition for, uh, for this uh, science center, they call science. science uh, in an island, uh, they call it Science Center, which we call uh, Science Island at the end. And uh, this is what we have proposed. Uh, you can see it's situated in a very beautiful island. Uh, and we were kind of frustrated that they were making a competition uh, to build on an island, which, uh, which you didn't have many buildings on it. And this was really the most natural and nicest part of the city and people usually usually use it for the weekends they uh, they go there they, they go there for running they do picnics and this kind of stuff so it's really nice part of the city and we really try to uh, make it part of the part of our concept to develop an empathy together with the uh, uh, together with the nature inside so uh, we looked at a lot of different things and uh, this is how it, how it looks from uh, from the other side of the island. So we believe it's kind of integrated into 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 the nature. But how we how we planned it is uh, we did a lot of uh, uh, research on the existing uh, tree clusters. So uh, actually, when you look at the island, you can see uh, you can see it's a complete uh, nature, or you can see it is uh, kind of a master plan that has. Uh, different areas. Some in some parts people play tennis. Some parts people do picnic and uh, do all, all sorts of dif different activities. And we figured that actually is emerged from the clustering of the trees. So the trees really shape the uh, the open space here. And uh, using Alan Turing's morphogenesis uh, uh, theory, we, uh, we we looked at a lot of existing patterns of the of the tree clusters and we choose some of the scales that's uh, compatible for the building so we divided the building into pieces and uh, we scattered them into into the island in, in this sense so this is what we came up with at the end uh, I know there are also interior design students so uh, we do a lot of interior design it is, it is very nice uh, this is a project we did in 2013. Uh, it is, uh, I mean, architecture is huge. Uh, architecture is big and like large scale and uh, very complex. But uh, interior design is uh, more maybe sometimes up to date. So you can design things and think about things, and uh, you can build it and see it quickly, and it becomes a part of a part of your experience. So you learn from doing a lot. Uh, you learn a lot from uh, doing the interior architecture. So this is one of the uh, in s s smallest projects uh, we have done, but we like it very much because it is super diverse. It includes a lot of, uh, I mean, it's, it's very small, but uh, it includes a lot of details. By the time, uh, I didn't know a lot of knowledge about the details and stuff, so we were just, you know, wanting to use everything. We didn't know how, uh, it looks simple, but it, it was complex to build it, but it uh, teached us a lot. So, what we did is, uh, what we tried to do uh, in this building is uh, the given uh, shape, uh, the given form was very rectilinear. So, it was a quite simple office uh, space that, that was given to us. And 
uh, we decided that we make such a thing. Uh, so at the end, uh, it's every every time you enter is a different experience. So uh, depending on how you circulate inside and uh, how you use the space, it's completely different every time. So these are different shots. Uh, I mean, we didn't. Uh, I didn't really like all the uh, single shots that photographers made, but when there was a video which I'm, I'm not going to be able to show, but <coughs> again, look it up online. Uh, but when they show uh, the contact sheets of the photography, it was uh, nice all together. So this is pretty much the, I think, best best picture we can get from this space. So it's nice that it's uh, creating a lot of diverse views. Uh, so uh, this is uh, this, this is pretty much what I have uh, in, the, in this, in this uh, presentation. Uh, we have uh, we have also done uh, a, a, a competition for uh, competition project for uh, Ralph Dentash Mosellum. Uh, so it was an, an international competition. Uh, by the time, and we get a mention award. Um, uh, what we try to do, do is uh, thinking about the concept being really contradictory. Uh, we again try to see how we can create something uh, that that that's something uh, that improves the nature of the space. So it just doesn't become uh, a mausoleum, or it just doesn't become a, a museum, or kind of. Uh, elitist kind of uh, situation, it becomes, it kind of improves the surrounding, so it improves the landscape. Uh, so we take the existing uh, landscape and uh, translate it into buildings. So this is how it looks uh, from outside. And when you look at the, uh, when you look at the uh, site plan, you can see it is trying to integrate a lot of uh, streets, uh, a lot of uh, open spaces surrounding it, so it really kind of tries to diffuse into into space. So you can, it's not just something uh, you go on special days, but it's something is uh, is a maybe a kind of museum or mausoleum that you can even do picnic uh, with your with your family and uh, uh, or your nephew and take it into uh, take it into a Sunday walk or whatever. So. And uh, and I I do everything alone, <laughs> except some people have have me. Uh, I mean we, we have we are working with a super young team and uh, they are all talented, super nice people. And uh, I think doing projects, uh, think uh, turning back to the first comment I had. I mean uh, being it's, it is a little hard uh, to produce so many things and so many projects. It's also so much fun to work uh, with uh, nice people and develop ideas and uh, kind of create interactions. So uh, we, uh, so obviously I'm not doing everything by myself. So there, there's a nice group of uh, people uh, in the office, and you can always uh, contact us through through our website. Thank you.